when using Screencastify, you can also use it to comment on students' work. If you are finding that it's taking a lot of time to comment on students' work, one thing you can do is send them a video. Screencastify only allows you to have five minutes of record time, so you'll have to keep this to a minimum, but that would be good for students as well. And down here in the corner, whenever you're using any sort of web page, you're able to use some of these features. You can use the pencil and the pen, and you can go ahead and change the colors to whatever you want it to be. When you come up here, you can circle areas and talk about it. You can also use the eraser, but you also have different pointers. So you have a highlight clicks. So for example, if you're trying to show kids how to go into a program, whenever you click on it, you'll be able to highlight it and highlight the button or highlight the area that you're talking about. So they get to sort of see like a bullseye of where you're speaking. Also, by changing the pointer, you can also hide the cursor when it's not moved. So when it's not moved, you hide the cursor and then you just have the circle there as well. For this one, they have a focus mouse. This would just be for an area. So like, let's say you're a math teacher and you're showing a problem. You're just going to focus on one part of the problem and maybe talk to the students about that as well. As you record, they can listen to you and see your comments and listen to them as well. They can play it over and over again until they understand what you're talking about. And it's just a great way to do that. You will, after you're done, you will then be given this screen. You are going to have it downloaded. What you normally can do is you can share it in classroom if you want to, and you can choose the student that you want to share it with. You can also download it and export it if you want to, and then upload it into Google Classroom. You can also get a shareable link. That link can then be added in Google Classroom as well. So you have several options on how to do this. This would be something that you could put in the private comments for your students. So there's a lot of ways that you can use this. Also for Screencastify, you could do this not just for individual students. You could do this for the entire class. You could talk about commonly seen mistakes and also celebrate some of their successes in whatever they have done so that they know what they are achieving and what they need work on. So this could be nice for feedback as well because you could send everybody the same feedback so that the students can hear how everyone did in the class. So these are two options when using Screencastify.